So far in math, we've been talking about shapes. We've been talking about two-dimensional shapes and how they can be used put together to make other shapes. We're going to do the same thing today, except they're going to be kind of weird shapes and different shapes. So we're going to have to figure out which of those shapes we have to put together to make the outline, okay? Remember yesterday also that just because we had um, a hexagon, I still wanted to see all of your triangles in your hexagon. So your shape would have looked like this, and you would have told me that it took six triangles to make one hexagon, right? Okay. So we're kind of going to do the same thing today. I want you to draw the lines inside the shapes so that you can see the shapes. So go ahead and get out your top colorful page. And we are going to look at the left shape first. The directions say use shapes to fill each outline. Draw to show your work. Okay, I want you to draw one line so that it shows two shapes in this first shape right here. Draw one line so it shows two shapes. You may go ahead and do that on the left one only, please. Okay, I want you to put your pencils down and I want you to look at here. Thank you. I saw some first graders do this. Is that right? Do I have two shapes? Yes, I have a triangle and a square. Very good. Do you think there's a different way to do it? There is a different way to do it. I saw some first graders do this. Is this a shape? What is it? Is this a shape? What is it? But this triangle isn't as big as this triangle. It's as long as it's a shape, as long as it's a triangle. Okay, do you think there's a different way? I saw some first graders do this, which is a good idea. However, is this a shape? No. This is not a shape, so will that work? No. Okay, so you've got to be careful, and you have to ask yourself what? Is this, is this a shape? Okay, if it's not, then you just have to erase it and try again. Okay, everyone see what we're doing today? Okay, let's go ahead and go to the shape on the right. Except this time, I want there to be three shapes inside. Okay, so two lines. You're exactly right. Go ahead and draw your two lines to make three shapes. And what are you going to ask yourself? Is this a shape? Is this a shape? If it's not, you need to erase and try again. Remember, first grade, I want how many shapes? Three. I want three shapes. 
I do not want two shapes. I do not want four shapes. I only want three shapes. this one on top like this okay what else could I have done okay I could have um done the same thing with these two but turned them over so that they're laying down like this okay very good 
So first grade, do you see how I combined the shapes to make a new shape? Did they draw their line? Yes, they did. Do you think you are going to have to draw your line? <coughs> I think you are. Okay. Look at this shape, first grade. What do I have? It's a circle. Which two of those shapes made this shape? The first two. Because if I have this shape and this shape, I can drag this and put this here. Drag this and put this here. Does that make the circle? Yes! Okay, very good. First grade, you need to be careful because can this shape fit in here? No. No. And if you look at this, this shape right here, if I try to fit it over here, does that fit? It does, but then look what's left over. I have this and this. Is that a shape? No, it's not, because it's curved. But there's a piece at okay. the corner. There's a piece in the corner. So that's not going to make sense. Okay, so you need to be careful today on your work. Are you going to have to try it and see? Are you going to maybe have to erase? Maybe. And that's okay. But you need to try it and make sure it makes sense. What are you going to ask yourself? Is this a shape?